Hey everyone, Ilda here from I Love Doing All Things Crafty and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a quick card I made using Ink on 3's Fade Out No Line Coloring Ink. Here I just stamped out the cluster of eggs from the Little Chicks uh, stamp set. And I've also created a mask and I'm using that to create a pile of eggs in the center of my card panel. The paper I'm using today is Canson watercolor paper. And I'm also going to be using my Tombow markers and a water brush to blend out the colors. I'm also using a couple of stamps from the Biker Bunny stamp set. As you can see from the stamped image so far, you could still pretty much make out um, the lines of where my stamped images are. One thing that's really important when you're going to be using this ink is to make sure that your stamps are very, very clean. Because as you can see, the first three eggs that I stamped right in the center are a little bit darker than the rest. And the reason was I had used a black ink prior to using the stamp with the fade out ink and didn't wipe well enough. And so there was some ink transfer as this ink pulls the pigment of the color that you're using. So essentially this ink makes no line coloring really easy and fun as you can still see the lines but the magical part comes when you add color to it. The stamped images take on the color of whatever color you're using. Whether it's these Tombow markers or Copics or pencils, this ink truly is amazing. So as you can see, I've added my um, colors to a laminated piece of paper and I'm just using the water brush or the actual marker to add my pigment to the paper and then I'm blending it out with a very little amount of water. You want to make sure you use a little amount of water because it will cause the lines to bleed. The other cool thing about this ink is that it dries really fast. So normally when you watercolor, you want to wait for that area to dry before you color next to it. But here I'm not even waiting for that to happen. I'm just keep coloring right next to where I've colored. So um, there ha it was a little bit of bleed into uh, certain areas, but not much at all. It's almost like it creates a little bit of a barrier between the um, colors. I know Florette has had a hard time keeping these on her shelf. Um, so if you do want this fade out ink, make sure you go to the website and pre-order. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you listen to the music as I color the rest of the card and keep watching as these lines that are stamped fade to the color of the ink that I'm adding. As usual, I will have links to all the supplies used in the video description below.
finish off the inside of my card I'm going to be using a couple of stamps from the Little Chicks stamp set and I'm also going to be using the new blackout detail ink that dries almost instantly and is waterproof and bleed resistant. And here's a closer look at this super simple Easter card using the fade out ink from Ink on 3. So if you like creating cards using the no line coloring technique, make sure you check out the fade out ink from Ink on 3. I hope you enjoyed this short video today. Thank you again for watching and until next time everyone, happy crafting. Bye!